let's get you updated on that stretch of I-75 in Oakland County that currently is closed, according to Nick, who's on the scene out there. So let's get to Nick to get the very latest from his vantage point of the progress they're making on that massive problem. Yeah, so actually we have moved locations because I wanted to show you something. And yes, I-75 northbound is still closed despite some reports that are out right now. It is shut down. And if we zoom in all the way down there, that is why the scene is clear. There are no uh, first responders or emergency crews or cops or anybody, but the road still isn't perfectly cleaned up just yet. I'm not sure what they still have to do. Uh, I know there were inspectors from contractors and from MDOT to look to see how much of that road is safe and if anything needs to be repaired. In fact, if we come down here, you can see there's another crew showing up right now, probably to do more inspections over here. So what happened yesterday was um, what happened yesterday was a tanker that caught fire the tires actually, and then that pulled over to the median there and that's what happened. So you've got the median that's now partially damaged that sound barrier that is now partially damaged that wall. And then just a few moments ago, in fact, I want to show you this video. We had the tanker had two tow trucks, one in the front and one in the back that had to pick up the back end and drive it out of here because the tires again were burned and damaged and not usable, obviously. So they had to get the taker up and get it out of here. Now, I just talked to somebody who lives in the neighborhood next door and heard the heard the uh, the, uh, the fire, heard the tires exploding and ran over to see what was going on. Came in from over here. We were here before the fire trucks got here and you could see it from this angle because it was parked right there or well crashed right there and they said it exploded three times and then it was just burning black silty smoke. All right, back out here live again. You can see I-75 still closed. I think what we're waiting on now would be twofold. Three things, actually. Inspectors and MDOT to determine exactly what is safe to reopen and what is not. If it's not safe to reopen, they've got to get some of their crews out here to uh, kind of get that lane cordoned off and put some construction barrels there and, and shut down that portion. But I know MDOT's goal is to get this reopened as fast as they can. They just got to work with that section there and get some of that soot and debris cleaned up there. Their work crews working out. They might have to get a fire truck out here to maybe hose it off a little bit. We're live here in Royal Oak, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.